So one of the biggest reasons why I ended up with the Ricoh GR3 instead of the 3X is because that is a 28 millimeter. Not that I like the focal length that much. I actually like 40 for street, especially in the States because the streets are wider compared to like any of the Asian cities. But 28 is a lot wider and you can capture a lot more. And if I want to use 28 to document everyday life, it's easier because there's more to be included especially with the environment. And I have to say the combination with the DJI Pocket 3 with the Ricoh is like the perfect combo because like it's so compact. I can just keep everything in my jacket pocket. If you see my video with the Vegas one, that's where I like went to all of the places with just these two cameras and that was it. See, the reason why I like to go wide is also because that's the whole point. I want to capture as, more, as much information as possible to save these memories. I really do enjoy the pocket size camera, such as the Ricoh here. The only problem is that on a sunny day like this, it's really hard to look at the screen and frame your shot. All right, another reason, one of the biggest reasons why I don't pick the 40, the 3X is because I have a 40 millimeter with my Canon already and it's a full frame. So it doesn't really make sense for me to get the Ricoh Jura 3X because I already have a 40 millimeter. And that 40 millimeter is a pancake lens, super small. And this 40 millimeter pancake lens is actually an EF lens. So I need an EF to RF adapter in order to mount it to my Canon with R5. And now the profile is it got bigger, like more than half of its size with the adapter. The adapter is bigger than the lens itself. It's kind of funny, but still, like this is my Canon R5. And the overall size 
it's still relatively small. Like I would say almost the same as the 50 Nifty, uh, that 1.8. Yeah, it's very, very compact. Like this is full frame though. You have to keep that in mind. Full frame camera with a, like an actual grip. And this is like, this is a beast actually with the 40 here and the form factor is great. As much as I like the grip though, it's still hard to beat the recoil. Like if I know for sure I'm going out to take photos on the street, then yes, obviously I'll go with the full frame, 40 millimeter. I said it really depends on the situation. If I'm going somewhere, maybe like a formal event, I'm not gonna bring the Canon. Like I, I want something small that fits in my pocket, like the Rico. So that's why I go with the 28, because if I'm going to like a party, like a full morning event, this makes a lot more sense. I want, I want to capture more. Like this is the same idea like I mentioned before. The more I capture, the more memories there are. I'm not specifically looking for like an actual good street photo or like a, I don't know. I'm not looking for a banger photo. Let's just put it that way. Like the one you see on Instagram all the time where people try to make, oh wow, isolation, bokeh, those kind of photos. No, not with recall, not at all. This is documenting life, everyday life, everyday memory. Now with the 28 millimeter, I really have to like walk really close to every single shot. It's a lot of work, but it's uh, very rewarding if you know what you're doing. It's a very nice feeling whenever you get a photo that we really like with the 28 millimeter because I don't know because you you actually have to work hard for it. It's not just like you point and shoot and then all of a sudden you can right away get the shot and isolate your subject. You have to work the same. Let me elaborate a little bit more on that. I feel like the 28 millimeter is a very niched. Uh, focal length, especially for street photography. And the 28 millimeter usually makes you feel that you are in the photo with the photographer, if you know what I'm saying, because everything's so close as, as you should be, because if you're not that close to the subject or to the crowd, to the scene on the street, it doesn't, it doesn't really work that way all the time. Obviously, it depends on what you're shooting, but I'm just speaking generally. It gives this very distinct look to the photo. When you look at it, a street photo from a 28 millimeter, like a wide angle focal length, it's, it's different. And that alone makes it really hard because you have to really walk to the subject and get out of your comfort zone to be in front of them, being be close to them, or else you're not gonna be able to capture the shot or work the scene that you want to work with. And generally speaking, wider focal lengths are just harder to get good photos with because there are so many elements inside the scene that you have to work with in order to compose your shot. And therefore it takes more time to take one single photo or capture one good photo, if you will. But I like the challenge. I like 28 millimeter. It makes me think more and slow me down. Actually, that's a good point. It always slows me down because I just have to be in the zone and then really take my time to work the scene. And that's great, that's fantastic. I love it. And I guess that's that's exactly why I went with the Ricoh GR3 instead of the 3X as my everyday camera.